Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video on our channel. So today's video is gonna be our third and final part of our Yankee Springs trail series, which showcases the trails and roads around the Yankee Springs area. Uh, today we're gonna be jeeping around a variety of different trails. Um, they kind of change names uh, throughout the route, but it's a pretty simple route. We're gonna be starting on Deep Lake Road, turning on to South Bassett Road, uh, off the trail onto Chief Noonday Road, turn back onto the trail at South Norris Road, which is gonna turn into McDonald Road, I think. Or no, it's McDonald Lake Trail. And then finishing on Graves Hill uh, Trail, which is um, right by Devil's Soup Bowl, I think is what it's called. Um, as I mentioned in the last video, which if you haven't watched already, stop what you're doing. Go check out the first two videos, because uh, those kind of set the precedence for this last trail. I'll put those on the screen now. Somebody uh, expressed some interest in the maps for these trails. Uh, I use Onyx Off-Road and Gaia GPS for mapping out my routes. Um, at the end of this video, I'll show a photo uh, of our normal loop around here to hit all the trails in one ride. So be sure to watch till the end. Uh, to make things even better, today I've got some friends here with me to have some fun as well. Hey. Hey. Uh, we hope you guys enjoy this video of us adventuring around the trails here in Yankee Springs. And hope you guys enjoyed the series. So stay tuned and enjoy the video. For this route, we are starting on the east end of Deep Lake Road, where it meets with South Norris Road. Today's route is approximately eight and a half miles, and we plan on it taking us about an hour to complete since we're filming, with a cool pull-off spot at Devil's Soup Bowl. Like I explained in the last two videos, the trails and roads around Yankee Springs consist of mainly dirt, sand, rock, and gravel. The conditions of these trails will change based on recent rain or droughts. All the trails around Yankee should be considered easy. There are very few obstacles, but there's one water hole that you could get into some trouble if you're not careful. Most of the time that water hole is too deep to pass through, unless you're feeling risky. Otherwise, most of the trails around here are just sandy, can be muddy and rutted out, and that's usually the worst of it around here. There's times when it's so dry that a two-wheel drive car could take most of these trails around here with no problem. So don't feel scared to come out and explore these trails. Bring a buddy as always if you can, but these trails shouldn't give you any trouble minus that water hole. Although it feels like I've said this a million times already, I'll say it again for those who didn't watch the first two videos. These Yankee Springs trails are located within the Barry State Game Area. This means that any licensed vehicle for on-road use is permitted to use these roads and trails. ORVs such as quads and dirt bikes are not allowed to use these trails. Most of these trails are technically labeled as county roads, so please keep this in mind.
So that's gonna be it for today's trail ride. So that trail took us what? Half hour or so? It's not too long. It's a pretty simple ride. Um, could be done maybe a little quicker, but like I said in the previous videos, don't rush, take your time. Uh, it's real pretty through there. Uh, so now for those of you who are interested in how all these trails can be connected to make one continuous loop, here's what a photo of what the loop looks like. Um, it takes about two to maybe three hours, depending on how fast you take it. Um, it's about 23 and a half miles from the gas station here in Yankee Springs. Um, and it's a, it's a nice ride. It's nothing crazy. It's not difficult. It's just scenic, two-track, dirt, gravel roads. Um, almost anybody can do it. I mean, I've seen two-wheel drive cars, you know, on some of these trails. So uh, what did we see? That, what was that crazy contraption? An old van um, going up the trail. So. You'll see all sorts of stuff out here. Um, just get out and explore and check it out for yourself. It's enjoyable out here at Yankee Springs. Like I said, it's nothing difficult, but at least it's something for us to ride around here without having to travel too far. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. I know I've had fun making it. I didn't think there was gonna be as many people reaching out uh, with questions, but if you do have questions about uh, this trail or the trails that we've been doing, um, feel free to leave a comment below or reach out to me on Instagram. I'll put that my handle on the screen now. Lastly, I did want to thank you guys for coming and helping me make this video. Um, this was a lot of fun, and it's even better when you're with friends. It was all right when we did the first video by ourselves, but it's a lot better when you have friends to wheel with. So take a buddy, take some friends, go hit the trails, and enjoy for yourselves. Uh, so thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Bye.